Alrighty, the next ones we're going to simplify just by reducing them. We'll get to some more factoring ones in a little bit. But here, we're just simplifying our fractions, and when we multiply fractions, we can cancel out the common factors. I like to just start with my numbers, my coefficients first, to see if I can reduce them, because sometimes there's variables I need to combine, and if I do try to cancel at the beginning, sometimes I miss stuff. So I like to just go ahead and say, okay, I can reduce the 7 with the 14. The 7 goes into there once, into the 14 two times. Then I'm going to go ahead and multiply the top together. 2 times 2 is 4. I have a b to the fifth. And then I have a c times another c, so I'm going to have c to the second power. On the bottom, I don't really need the 1. I'm going to switch the order around because I like them alphabetically. So I'm going to write the b squared first and the c to the third on the end just so everything lines up nice. Not that you have to do that, but... <laughs> then I'm going to cancel with my variables. We said when we're reducing those, we're going to subtract the lower one from the bigger one. So I have a b to the fifth on the top and a b squared on the bottom. I'm going to get rid of the b squared, which is going to take 2 off of my 5 and make that b to the third power, right? On my C's, I've got 2 on the top, 3 on the bottom. I'm going to subtract off the lower one, which is the 2 from the top. 3 minus 2 gives me 1, so I just have a plain old C on the bottom. So what I have left is 4B to the third on top and a plain old C on the bottom. How did you get the 4? But I see what you did. Okay. The 2 times the 2 up there on top. Yep. So number 5, if I first simplify my coefficients, I can reduce the 2 with the 4 and the 5 with the 15, right? So 2 goes into 2 once and into 4 2 times. 5 goes into 5 once, into 15 3 times. So multiplying across the top, 1 times 3 is 3. I have a b to the fifth. And then I have a y times a y squared. y times y squared, y to the third, exactly. So 3b to the fifth y cubed on top. On the bottom, 1 times 2 is 2. I got a plain b and a plain y, so by. <laughs> And then I'm going to reduce those variables down. How many b's can I take out of there? One. Just one. Leaves me b to the fourth up on top. How many y's can I take out of there? Just one. Leaves me y to the second up on top. And so I have 3b to the fourth y squared over just a 2. All right, go ahead, try number six. Well, that one's numbers aren't so big. That one might be a little easier. So you started out and you did some canceling. 2 goes into 2 once and into 6 three times. 5 went into 5 once and into 10 two times, right? So on the top, 1 times 2 is 2, and then you have an A and an X. I like them alphabetically, but if you put X, A, it's the same thing. <laughs> on the bottom, 1 times 3 is 3, 
and then you're going to have an a, and you have an x times an x, so you get x squared, right? Canceling. Well, I'm going to cancel out my a's all together because there's one on the top and one on the bottom, so the a's will be gone. I'm going to take out one of my x's, and so I have an extra one down on the bottom, so 2 over 3x should be my answer. We get that? All right, good. Thank <laughs> you.